After the super stereotypical all white arranged shit shower that was Mulan 2020, I was recommended another Mulan movie from 2009. This one with more emotion, action, and somehow has a musical meme god featuring it. <laughs> Welcome back, Yuri Nation. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe so you can be a part of the great Yuri Nation. You can always unsubscribe later, so why not? Now, if you saw my last video, you would know that Mulan 2020 is about as representative of Chinese culture as American World War II propaganda. But imagine an alternate fucking universe where Nikki Caro was instead an Asian director. That's where we get the beautiful masterpiece, award-winning masterpiece, Mulan, The Rise of a Warrior. I was wondering where I could watch this movie because it might be hard to find online. Turns out the whole fucking thing's on YouTube. Basically, it's the same Mulan story as always. Mulan loves her dad, her dad gets sick, so she takes his place and joins the army. But after watching these two movies, I feel like 2020 tried to rip off a lot of 2009 because a lot of scenes felt very familiar. But the difference is, although they're both 2 hours long, 2009 managed to do so much more in that 2 hours compared to 2020. If 2020 did 5 things in 2 hours, 2009 did 10,000. 2009 manages to invoke some really strong emotions and makes you feel the sympathy and tension right from the get-go. You really feel for Mulan and her dad. It's very laid out. There's even scenes where Mulan and her dad are just sitting around drinking alcohol all day, which by the way is much more representative of Asian culture than drinking tea 24-7. And the iconic scene where Mulan steals her dad's armor and sneaks out in the night is done so well here. It's as powerful as the animated movie did it. Whereas Mulan 2020, we don't talk about that because Mulan 2020 treated this scene like an ass wipe. Plus, the war goes on for like years, which how most actual wars are. Whereas in Mulan 2020, it didn't even feel like a war. It, if anything, it was a gang war. <laughs> Look how little people they are. And good god, the plot twists in this movie are so good, even M. Night Shyamalan will have a tough time trying to figure out who's gonna die or what's gonna happen next. And the mini spoiler, but in the first 20 minutes itself, someone already figures out Mulan is a girl, which adds to suspense, and they even build up the characters of the enemy soldiers giving them a sympathetic like story as to why they're fighting the war, which is... Mwah. It's like a DC interpretation of Mulan. It's not the Mulan you know where she's running around singing in the rain with a crackhead dragon, but this is much darker and suspenseful. But if you watch the original 1998 Mulan, you're probably at least 20 years old by now, so you can handle it. Also, Mulan in this movie had amazing character development, growth, and bravery. Heck, even I felt empowered. Plus, all the other side characters were really fleshed out, and I love it. None of it tries too hard to push any moral values in your face, and it hits all the marks that your typical Disney moral of the story wants to hit, but definitely miss this time. Also, Vitas is in this movie for some reason, because, I don't know, China loves throwing in random white dudes into their movies. <laughs> but yeah, it's a good movie, go watch it. You see, this is what happens when you have an Asian person working on your Asian film. Thanks for watching.